hello youtubers welcome to the coded brain and on a new video of java programming and in this video we learn how to take input from the user that is from the console uh, we have learned in our last video about how to print uh, the message and about the data types and variables now let's learn how to scan how to get value from the user yeah uh, remember that uh, getting value from user is little, little complex so watch it clearly if you haven't watched our previous video then first watch it and come back so let's get started uh, for starting to scan the value from user we must import something uh, type import java dot util dot scanner and end with a semicolon and on this void now you must write scanner and give a name of scanner I'll give it scan equal to new new and in the bracket a uh, new system is new scanner on the bracket system dot in and end with a semicolon and remove that the system dot in in is for the input and uh, system dot out is for the output so we need an input from the user so it's an in so this is the main part when you want to scan from the user and make sure you do not insert this if you do not need uh, any values from the user uh, it will show you some error but if you need some value entered by the user make sure you enter this correctly now let's give some variable uh, let's give a integer a another let's keep our double b and let's keep a string string c yeah now let's ask for the value from the user system out print enter the value of a and end the semicolon now we have asked for the value of a to the user now let's learn how to insert the value given by the user in the a variable a yeah for that you must write a equal to scan uh, dot next integer and end the semicolon now here next integer means uh, put the value given by the user in the a which is integer which is integer i and integer now let's copy this and copy and let's paste it and let's ask for the value of b now we have value now b equal to it is the same process but there is a little difference since we have the value of b as double so b equal to this is from the scan dot and next double uh, here we have integer so next int and here we have double so next double if we have float the next float uh, and something like that but now we have a little twist here and that is for the let's ask for the c now since c is a string so c equal to scan dot next oh sorry scan dot next and remember that if you have something on the string then you should not 
write anything just write scan dot next and leave it that will be fine now let's print this value uh yeah control this let's print this hmm. a equal to uh plus a equal to a and plus b equal to i have already taught you this c equal to plus c yeah now let's build this and click ok now you can see here enter the value of a uh, a 5 enter the value of b 6 enter the value of c uh, select the code 8 brain now you can see here a equal to 5 and also uh, b equal to we have no value since i forgot to insert here uh, something called b no not here b here now it ends see the coded print if you can see let's keep here parallel since after that it will go to step let's run it again it is all about your programming how accurate you are sometimes you can give the same all types of mistake errors and you can fix it yourself the code 8 when you can see now a is 5 and b is sequence 0 and the code brand so this is how you you can scan from the user and print those scanned item so that is all for today uh, subscribe to our channel to view more videos about Java programming I'll be uploading it and like this video if you have any problem comment down i will i'm sure i will uh, reply it and thank you for watching thank you so much